Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. Now, if it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. At the heart of your reading, Capricorn, you have the dog and you have the mice. So loyalties are in question here. Um, someone's loyalty to you or yours to them. This energies can be vice versa. Um, it could be with the dog, uh, um, some type of invitation or uh, some something that someone is inviting you to do with them. So, I mean, it could be an invitation to meet up, go for a walk, but I mean, it could also uh, be an invitation to come and be with me, you know. Uh, come stay with me. Um, yeah, so um, I feel like um, come. Okay, so it's on the fish. Come, let's let's uh, let's build something together, or let's let's expand what we have. Let's let's. Take what we have and make it grow with the fish. So um, it could be uh, that uh, you might be wondering with the mice uh, if it's uh, worth the trouble. Because uh, this person uh, may have uh, hurt you in the past or that other previous experiences uh, all ended badly, and you might be wondering, maybe this one, uh, you know, is it worth uh, investing in? So perhaps uh, uh, you or they have developed uh, trust is issues because of past disappointments, you know, past heartbreak. Um, I kind of feel like this is about a reconciliation, uh, somebody wanting back into your life after uh, this person may have walked away or they may have hurt you or there could have been arguments in the past where you both went uh, your separate ways. There, it could be uh, several times uh, that you've um, tried to work something out with this person, okay? If not, then it is, uh, it is, uh, you are judging this one, you or they, based upon uh, past experiences. Um, I feel like if this is indeed a reconciliation, this is a question about can we uh, can we bring this back from the brink of death, which is what this uh, Ten of Swords would be asking. And the answer to that, of course, is yes, but uh, if you have learned from your past mistakes, you know, you need to look to the past uh, in order to 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 heal this relationship because I, I feel possibly that this is two times this may have happened because it is appearing twice this ten of swords and in between we have the star I feel like this is about a healing energy uh, for uh, uh, for something that ended badly and uh, you may be, oops, you may be wondering uh, if it's worth the trouble or not because of the Five of Swords appearing here and here. So it's like you're expecting history to repeat itself. You're expecting possibly that if you take this person back, that uh, the same thing will happen again, that they will just break your heart or stab you in the back, you know. And you, this card says that you don't want any, any, any unwanted surprises, you know. That's what it's saying. 
But the thing is, uh, from what I can see, uh, yes, you're stuck on this thing that happened in the past. And yes, it does feel risky uh, because of the past. You're not sure if they're telling the truth or not. They could be pretending. Um, and what if they are, you know? So it's like, um, it's like uh, you're afraid of your worst fear, which is that it would happen again, that materializing should you take them back that you know that that could possibly happen but uh i feel like uh i feel like with the star here i do feel like this is a turning point um for you uh for the relationship for this person uh to heal whatever uh whatever caused this or was causing this in the past you may have to you if you are truly uh scarred if, if something has left its mark upon you uh or upon your heart um you will have to uh, you will have to uh, pay attention. You're going to have to use your your intuition here to to guide you through this energy because because of the swords. Because the swords right now are telling you what to do and are creating uh, a lot of chaos in the mind or a lot of conflict in the mind or between the mind and the heart, you know. It, yes, it is possible that somebody can change. And they will change or this change would have occurred because they themselves wanted to change. You know, so maybe in the past you may have tried to change this person and it didn't work because they weren't ready themselves for this change. And sometimes, sometimes, unfortunately, uh, people have to learn the hard way or they have to hit rock bottom before they learn. And I feel like this could be one of those cases where this has happened. And, um, and so... I do truly believe that they have changed it, because they would not have shown me that message. They wouldn't have planted the star card right here between these uh, two cards. And, and these both of these cards, uh, although they are the Ten of Swords, they each tell a different story. So I believe that you're going to have to uh, follow your heart on this. I believe that the per the person did change. And, and you know, uh, you need to assess uh, from... Uh, you need to assess, uh, and it is what you're thinking, it is what you're thinking, whether or not you can... Um, heal uh, from the damage done by things possibly that were said and done through this uh, um, and I'm referring to something that ended badly some argument you're very sensitive when it comes to something that was said in the past and it's like that wound there it's like it's it's an open wound and so it's it's causing you a lot of conflict here uh as to whether or not you can believe uh this person uh and that they have changed 
this is um, uh, a soulmate energy. Um, I feel like you do both love each other. I, I feel like this person uh, had to learn the hard way. They may not do so well in the emotional arena and they can be very hard to read. Um, so they may very well uh, keep uh, this side of them uh, hidden because it's like they, it's like, uh, would be like a sign of weakness uh, for them to show that they would not want to show that, that, uh, that side of them. But, um, this person does love you. And, um, I feel like uh, there's going to be a very happy event in your future. Um, but you, you're going to have to, you're resisting some change or transformation that is taking place here because of the swords. So you are going to have to try to step away from there, away from those thoughts uh, that are haunting you, okay? And uh, quiet your mind and listen to your intuition. Um, you're going to be receiving signs that will show you the way and uh, the path and what to do. So, but with all those swords attacking you, it will be, you could easily miss these signs. So you need to really try to uh, relax and don't let those swords uh, don't let those swords uh, don't let them take over because they seem to be able to do that with you or with them whoever's energy this is there's a reunion uh, there's a uh, there's um incoming messages here in the future um this can be a very happy event uh if you don't let the swords uh get in the way okay so uh, there's a lot of negative thoughts because of past disappointments Try to go into this meeting with an open mind. Um, stop resisting. Go uh, with the flow of things. Because there's information they say that you don't have. Okay. Um, I feel like you're going to have to use... Uh, the resources that you have uh, if you want to make this work and you do uh, you love this person and they love you there's no question there there is news coming that will make you very happy you do not have this news yet it's here it's here it's here and it's here but it's hidden. This meeting it will reveal uh, information to you that you do not currently have, having to do with your situation. Something is changing here, and you need to just kind of go with it, okay? You need to go with it. There's a, the flowers represent a, a something being received. You're, what's being received is information you don't have. What's being received is news that will make you very, very happy. But you must get to that meeting. And if you're being attacked by all of these swords, 
uh, they could block you from getting to this meeting. I feel like this is like that turning point in the relationship. If you've been struggling uh, for quite some time, um, that this is where things actually get better and expand with these fish here. The fish are like that lucky break that come in, expansion, growth. Um, but you must make the most of the resources that you possess, okay, um, of what you have, of the knowledge and wisdom that you've gained up to this point in order to make something work. Don't uh, use the, or don't let the imagination sweep in and, and fill in these blanks with your worst fears. Because that's what this energy does. Because you have an open wound that, you know, that is, is still kind of festering. So, you know, can this person change? Yes, they can. Um, um, and I feel like this is... Uh, the turning point here in this relationship. Even if it's been a struggling on again, off again for some time, this is where it changes. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.